Hi guys, I'm back again. My name is Johan and in this video I want to share with you uh, my results of using uh, next gen gaming PC uh, mining cryptocurrencies. Uh, I will share with you my results using this PC 24 7 and um, you will draw your own conclusion if uh, it's worth it to use a next gen gaming PC uh, to mine cryptocurrencies but uh, first let's uh, see how the market um, has um, performing in the past 24 hours we are not seeing a lot of movement to the downside on the uh, top uh, 10 coins uh, Bitcoin has moved to the downside 1.3% uh, Ethereum 3% XRP 5.1% as you all know in the weekends um, the crypto market is behaving differently because no major uh, markets are open guys we might see some pump to the upside let's see the biggest uh, movement uh, movers the biggest movers in 24 hours are nexo 11.5 percent uh, around 11.4 uh, percent nam 9.9 percent .9%, sushi 4.7 percent and terra these are the gainers of uh, the past 24 hours and the losers uh, near 11.4 percent ample force 10.6 tor chain 9.7 percent algorand uh, 8.4 percent so we can see uh, there is a equilibrium between uh, the losers and the gainers in the past 24 hours so let's see um, as you can see here are the biggest movers uh, so let's see what lunar crash are is showing us the coin of the day is monero but the alt rank is showing is l run on the first place nam sushi swap incentive protocol and nexo as you can see these five coins we can uh, find them in the top 24 hours movement guys movers so um again lunar crush is a very nice tool to uh see the coins that move and that have a very good um social engagement you can check also the galaxy score here and see how these coins looks like if uh, we might see movement in the market according to Galaxy score and to alt rank from Lunar Crush guys. Uh, as always, I am transparent. Nobody is um, um, giving me money uh, to talk about these uh, uh, tools. I am just using them because I like uh, what they provide so uh, let's jump straight uh, to the subject of this video if we can make money using our gaming cpu let's uh, i will share with you my pc i currently have an emd processor a ryzen 9 3900 x this is what i am using right now uh, to make this video my motherboard is gigabyte x570 hours pro i have 16 gigabytes of memory and the graphics card is of course 1080 ti from nvidia so this is my pc guys that i'm currently using to mine cryptocurrencies and to record the actual videos you can see here i am mining right now uh, to share with you uh, my results i am mining ethereum right now using the t-rex miner and 
mining ferrous coin my with my CPU using hell miner guys this is um, right now on my PC at the current recording as you can see this is how uh, it looks I uh, 68 watts uh, consuming with my CPU right now uh, doing this video and mining in the same time this is not a lot of power guys this is very cheap and here I am mining ethereum and I am using a bit of very uh, high power 219 watts but usually this goes down at uh, around um, 175 185 something like that um, I will uh, show with you my um, these are the MSI afterburner, uh, these are my current uh, settings. I usually use here a 75 power to get the best um, power consumption for my GPU guys. And usually I mine around um, 40 mega hashes per second to 45 this is um, the best uh, speed should I say uh, best speed with uh, the power consumption are my results I am um, using two miners because I like their interfaces and so on uh, this is not important but uh, you can see here my results in the past uh, 30 days I have mined uh, 0 0.075 uh, Ethereum and that's a total of 44.96 dollars at the current price of the Ethereum uh, we can check what to mine here guys and to see if uh, this uh, calculator is accurate so I put here the power around 200 watts I uh, input my um, um, usual uh, mega hash rate is 42 something around that and we can see the result per month is around uh, 60 uh, 0.068 um, Ethereum according to what to mine as you can see I was a bit more lucky and I have mined more like 0.075 ETH anyway it's around $40 let's see another calculator um, I use this one to crypto calc you can see here this is a bit uh, better exactly what I have done um, as you can see here in the past uh, month using uh, my gaming PC 24-7 uh, to mine uh, Ethereum. So that's a total of $43 uh, in one month at the current price of Ethereum. Um, of course you can mine because um, uh, Nvidia cards are more versatile, you can mine other coins. These are my results guys. So with uh, 1080 Ti but if you have uh, a bigger and a newer uh, next gen uh, uh, GPU you can make a bit more here we can see what is the most profitable uh, GPU right now uh, is um, Nvidia ATX uh, 3090 um, mining Ethereum it gets 120 mega hashes per second and it takes uh, 3080 is around 100 mega hashes guys this is how it looks like but still uh, 1080 ti after three years is a very very uh, profitable uh, gpu to use for mining uh, use your 
do your own research and you will see uh, which one is more profitable uh, as a dollar cost uh, investment okay so uh, let's jump to my uh, CPU mining performance um, I mine as you can see various coin and uh, the various coin is the most profitable uh, mining CPU mineable coin I have found uh, as you can see the 24 hours average uh, is 30 mega hashes per second I am currently um, making this video mining right now um, with my uh, CPU around 33.69 mega hashes per second I have lowered my uh, number of cores that I'm using because I'm um, making this video so actually I always mine around 29 um, mega hashes uh, per second using my um, GPU uh, I have mine since February uh, 2037 very coins, coins guys that's a total of 682 dollars in value uh, this is um, more than um, I have paid to buy my uh, CPU guys so I have already if I cash out now I have already um, uh, paid my CPU in less than a year uh, using mining various coin but um, unfortunately uh, since February the difficulty have increased and it is not uh, so much profitable now uh, you can see my earnings uh, in uh, 24 hours I mine like 1.6 uh, various coin in 15 days 21.7 um, various coins so not too much because the difficulty has increased actually I can show you uh, the last month results um, you can see here exactly my my results um, mining so uh, starting from 1st November here I have 10 plus 10.6 10.6 plus 10.5 uh, 10.5 plus 10.2 10.2 plus uh, 10 10 plus another 10 in uh, to December my last payment that that equals uh, 61.3 uh, um, various coin uh, mined uh, last month um, let's see how much that means 61 uh, various coin that's around uh, 20 dollars guys I have mined uh, in uh, the past month at the current uh, price of various coin uh, and we can check here we can do the calculus and that's uh, according to what to mine it's less uh, than I have made so I was uh, more lucky but that's around uh, $20 anyway uh, mining uh, various coin uh, using your CPU so let's do a math guys uh, to uh, see how much uh, we pay for the power uh, we are using 
uh, 60 watts power here and um, 200 watts um, using the GPU um, here see so that's a cost of uh, 14 dollars and with four that's around uh, 18 dollars uh, per month uh, to pay the electric bill so let's do the math we uh, make um, around uh, 40 40 dollars around forty dollars per month with our uh, GPU plus uh, twenty dollars per month uh, with our CPU that's a total of sixty dollars and if we uh, minus twenty dollars that's a total of uh, if we cut the power that's a total of forty dollars per month times twelve months in one year we make like 480 bucks guys around uh, 500 dollars uh, per year if we uh, mine uh, cryptocurrencies um, these two cryptocurrencies now uh, so let's do a math guys and um, see how much uh, approximately how much uh, a gaming PC like this costs the motherboard is around two hundred and uh, <clears throat> fifty dollars so two hundred fifty dollars plus um, the CPU now is around uh, six hundred thirty six five hundred we will put it at around uh, six hundred dollars plus six hundred dollars uh, okay plus the memory guys is around eighty dollars eighty dollars plus the GPU itself uh, the prices differs because we cannot find uh, any more 1080 Ti's new uh, the they are used so we will put around uh, $700 uh, a GPU price $700 equals $1630 only for this if we put um the power supply and the case uh <clears throat> we will put uh, around uh, 400 dollars more plus 400 so that's a total of two thousand uh, dollars worth of uh, gaming pc at the current price of our um, products so um, we have a gaming PC of two thousand dollars divided by four equals five hundred so <laughs> with our gains we will uh, make even our uh, PC uh, in um, four years guys so put um, the amount of um, what we have mined in four years and buy a new C gaming PC for free guys this is what I can get uh, with my uh, calculus but um, this is all relative because uh, if we hold our coins um, for five years this coin could uh, be much more higher so we can even make uh, more money 
uh, if um, we hold these coins for five years we can uh, even get two thousand dollars or more if this coin gets to one dollar in five years because of the utility of various coin this could happen a lot could happen in five years actually you know that the markets are behaving in waves currently we are in a bull market but in five years we could be uh, talking about other prices all the markets are going up and all the cryptocurrencies um, that have good utility uh, in uh, years have gone uh, up a lot in value and if we hold uh, ethereum uh, that is the second greatest uh, cryptocurrency in the space we could see a lot more gains uh, there are a lot of coins in the space that we can mine with our gaming uh, pc so is it worth it guys to use your gaming pc uh, to mine cryptocurrencies and to earn passive income depends on your point of view if you like cryptocurrencies if you believe uh, that that uh, coin that you are mining will perform good in five years from now is worth it guys definitely but if you are not in the crypto space and you do not believe in crypto then it is not for you uh, this is not an advice I mean if you already have the PC um, it is it could be profitable you can earn money and you can break even much faster this was just uh, an example at the current price and so on there are so many factors that could determine um the percentage of earnings guys i did this example on my hardware but uh, you may have another hardware a better one and uh, potentially you can make more money mining with your gaming cpu but uh, if you uh, make uh the pc specifically for mining uh, from my perspective um, it's not quite worth it but if you already have a gaming pc and you are playing with it and you want to earn something with it then it's worth it in my point of view but it's not worth it to make a gaming pc to mine with it if you already have it you can put it on work and it works perfectly i'm using this gaming pc uh, for more than a year uh, and it's working perfectly uh, maybe many of you are thinking you will broke your uh, GPU or CPU by stressing it, but this is not the case guys. It works perfectly. Nothing happens if you uh, Use your PC. It's meant to be used. You can see I am Streaming now. I am recording this video. I am mining in the same time guys it, it, It's it's working perfectly look this is um the, the current uh, degrees I have on my gaming PC this is the current um, uh, CPU power consumption so it's working perfectly I had no issues no problems I did not invest in cooling um, better cooling on my PC I am using uh exactly this uh solution that imd has provided 
so this is it guys um you draw your own conclusion uh if it's worth it uh to mine with your next gen gaming pc it's uh, up to you if you find this interesting so guys um, this was my video for today uh, I hope uh, you like the content that I provide um, and if so please leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel I will bring more um, useful material for you guys to see and um, I wish you all the best see you in another video bye guys